Papa's in the room, yeah? So we're just, uh, we're making our petitions to him. We, we've kind of moved in from a, a, an intimate dance with me, dance with you, encounter with his presence to, since you're in the room, hear our heart prayer that God, that, that heaven would come. And so we've moved into a bit of an intercessory time in this song where we're saying, let heaven come. You taught us to pray that, on your, that your kingdom would come, that your will would be done on earth just as it is in heaven, that, that that's your heart. And I highly doubt you'd ask us to pray a prayer that you wouldn't want to see answered. And so I just want to invite you to begin to press in right now where just put it on your lips. What do you, what, what do you want? What are you crying out for? If heaven's going to come, what's that look like? And just begin to move into a bit of a prayer time with him where we're just crying out, Papa, come. Let heaven come. Let heaven come. Father, that there would be freedom all across this land. Father, Father, that there would be freedom all across this land. That the hearts of men would be turned back to their fathers. That sons would return to their fathers. Fathers would return to the sons. Father, that, that, that daughters and sons would come home. Our heart is that we just cry out that heaven would come. What is it that you're petitioning? Begin to put it before him right now. He's in the room. You have the opportunity. Father, let heaven come. Father, that blind eyes would be opened. Father, that sickness would be no more. <laughs> Father, that we would be in no lack, but we would be in abundant provision. Begin to cry out and petition. Declare what it is that you're, de you're desiring to see. For yours is the kingdom. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the kingdom. Papa, we say come. Bring heaven down. This is your land. This is your land. Let it blossom the way you designed and planned. <laughs> So when we're singing this song, remember you're just making this heart cry to the Lord. Let heaven come. Let heaven come. Let heaven come. Let, let, let a measure of your presence fall. Let a measure of your presence fall like it's in heaven. Father, that, that man has yet to even know. That man has yet to even ever experience in all of revival history on the face of the planet. Father, pour out a measure of your spirit that you say you give without measure. Father, we cry out that you would give without measure. That you would pour out. That your sons and daughters would prophesy. That your old men would dream dreams that you would pour out your spirit on all mankind in a way and a fashion that we have yet to ever see. God, that is my heart's cry. Come. Come. Let heaven come. That the bondage of religion would hold no longer, but would be broke. That the bondage of rules and forms and ordinances and practices without your heart would disappear. And that man would awaken to the spirit that's within him. To the spirit that you made to reside within him. To the spirit that you have deposited into us. That man, that we would come awakened to our, our purposes and our intentions on the earth. That you said in Ephesians were your workmanship created to do good works that you've planned from long beforehand intending for us to walk out father waken us to this awaken us to this 
that we would see for once, that we would see for once why, why you've called us, why you've created us, that we would see your face for once, Lord. What is your heart cry? Come on, I'm going to invite you to come up. If I want to hear your heart's prayer, I want you to come up and pray into the mic. Begin to intercede for your land. It's just one thing for a Yankee to come in and pray for your land, but it's a whole other thing for you. <laughs> so come. Oh, the great I am, we call out to you. We call out to you, our God, the creator of the ends of the earth. We say, Lord, come down and heal our nation. Heal our cities, Lord. Lord, turn the churches upside down, Lord, that we would hate programs, that we would love the Saviour. Oh, Lord, come down, come down. We love you, Father. You are precious in our sight. You are the great high priest, oh, Lord Jesus, our great high priest that brings us into the presence of the one and true living God. Oh, God, we love you. You. you are the only God that speaks to His people. You are the words that are unfathomable. We thank your Holy Spirit. Move across this nation. Precious Holy Spirit, how wonderful you are. How we, think we repent for not drawing closer to you. We repent for not walking in the Spirit more than we should. Forgive us, Holy Spirit. Us. Oh Lord, let a let a let a battalion, let a legion arise of soldiers called into war, war, Lord, war for the kingdom, the wonderful kingdom of our living God. We pursue you, Father. We pursue you with everything we have. How precious you are! Be glorified, Father. Be glorified in this nation that your name, Jesus, would be held in highest esteem. That we, O oh Lord God, would fear you more than man. That you would give us a boldness, your boldness, Jesus, to proclaim the gospel of peace and love. We love you, Lord. Be glorified. She will know her identity. 
She will know who she's called to be. She will know that she is already whole through what you've done, that she is a saint. She's no longer a sinner. She's been a sinner. She's been saved by grace, but she's now a saint and she needs to walk in that. I just speak that over the nation. I speak that over the churches. God, I just pray you break that spirit of religion and relationship will be at the core. Come on. So if you could stand, stand. Let's just begin to cry out. Cry out. Put these words, this chorus on your lips. And let heaven come. Let it be your heart cry. You're petitioning to the Lord. You're saying, come, 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 come. Yes, Lord, come, come, come. 